Sunday, January 7th, 2024. It's about 7 a.m. Best baseball player of the year, 1973. That's the year I graduated from high school. Willie Starjo wins it. Won three categories. Willie Starjo, he's in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Good year. 44 home runs. Most of, among all National and American League players. 43 doubles. And 119 runs batted in. Three categories. No one else had more. Rod Carew had the batting title. Pete Rose had the most hits, 230. Roger Metzger, triples. Pete Rose with singles. So two categories for Pete. Bobby Bonds, run scored. Ken Singleton on base. Daryl Evans, base on balls. And Lou Brock, stolen bases. Bobby Bonds, 341 total bases. So Bobby Bonds had two categories. So did Pete Rose. But Willie Stargio, three. That's my criteria. Let's look at his year, 1973. You know, Willie, um, strong, powerful slugger. Came up in 1962, 22 years old. Played a couple games. Got going. 1963, 108 games, hit 11 homers. 64, hit 21. 65, 27. 66, breakout, 33 homers. 68, 24. 69, 29, 1970, 30. His best year, 1971. 48 homers, 125 RBIs. 1972, 33. But then 1973, he's the best baseball player. 44 homers, 119 RBIs. Bats 299, just missed out 300. Played 148 games, 106 runs scored. I like that. 646 slugging. 337 total bases. The only flaw with uh, Willie Stargell, struck out too much. Had 129 strikeouts in 1973. That's way too many. You can't have. If you're a power hitter, just make contact. Don't need to hit the homer every time. It's nice to see the homers. Did you know that Willie Stargell struck out 1,936 times in his career? Not good. Played 2,360 games. Had about 8,000 at bats. And 1,900 strikeouts. He had a couple World Series titles, and he was very crucial in winning the titles. So, is Willie Stargell a Hall of Famer? Yes. He had 475 homers. I'd like to have seen 500 homers. Played till he's 42. See, the thing with Willie, got going late. See, for about 10 years right there, just hitting about 25, 30 homers a year. It wasn't until when he was 31 years old that he hit 48. Then he hit 33, 44. So he had a three-year stretch right there. 71, 72, and 73. Power numbers. Then he started going down because he hit 25, 22, 20. Hit 32 toward the end of his career, but... A little inconsistent. 282 career batting average. Not good enough. 
But Hall of Fame, 1,500 RBIs. That's my criteria. If you can get, here's my criteria for Hall of Fame, 2,500 or more hits. How many did uh, Starjo have? 2,200. Another criteria, 1,500 runs scored. How many did Starjo have? 1,194. And then RBIs, 1,500 RBIs. Starjo, 1,540. And then another criteria is you're over 300 batting average. How do you make the Hall of Fame if you're below 300? I guess if you can have 3,000 career hits. Did you know that Ricky Henderson, career batting average, was under 300? 300, yet he got 3,000 hits. How about that? How many players have over 3,000 hits yet are under 300 career batting average? Eddie Murray comes to mind. Ricky Henderson. Who else? You know, that's a trivia question. Just thinking of it right now. Let me put that in my Google search. List of 3,000 hits club. I'll get the list here. All right, here's the list of those who have 3,000 or more hits and their career batting averages. Pete Rose, of course, 4,256, 303 career. Ty Cobb, 4,189, 366. Henry Aaron, 3,771, 305 career. Stan Musial, 3,630, 331 career. Tris Speaker, 3,514, 345 career. Derek Jeter. 3465, 310 career. Hannes Wagner, 3430, 329 career. Kyle Yaskrimski, there's the first one. 3419 hits, 285 career. So he's number one. He's the first one with 3000 hits and below 300 career batting average. Yaz. Albert Pujols, 3,384 hits, 296 career. That's two. Paul Molitor, 3,319, 306 career. Eddie Collins, 3,314, 333 career. Willie Mays, 3,293, 301 career. Eddie Murray, I knew it. He's another one. He's the third guy. 3255, 287 career. Nap Lajewai, 3252, 339 career. Cal, Cal Ripken, there's another one. He's the fourth guy. 3184, 276 career. So far, Ripken's the lowest. Lowest career batting average, which is over 3,000 3, career hits. Miguel Cabrera, 3174, 307 career. Adrian Beltre, here's another one. This is five. 3166, 286 career. George Brett, 3154, 305 career. Paul Wainer, 3152, 333 career. Ramen Yao, another one. 3142, 285 career. Tony Gwynn, 3141, 338 career. A Rod, here's another one. 3115, 295 career. Dave Winfield, another one. 3110, 283 career. Ishiro Suzuki. 3089, 311 career. Here's another one. Biggio. 3090, 
3060. 281 career. Ricky Henderson. 3055. 279 career. There's another one. Rod Carew. Let's see. Yeah, Rod Carew. 3053. 328 career. Lou Brock. Another one. 3,023, 293 career. Camp, no, Rafael Palmero. Another one. 3,020, 288 career. Wade Boggs, 3,010. Nope, Cape Hansen. We got Camp Hansen at 3,011. Yeah, there's a discrepancy there. Some books have him at 3,400 hits. Others just 3,011 because before the 1900s, their record keeping, some of those hits are in question. But Camp Hansen, a 331 career batting average. Wade Boggs, 3,010, 328 career. Al Kaline, another one. 3,007 hits, 297 career. Should have kept playing Cat K line to get that 300 career batting average. And the last guy, Roberto Clemente, 3,000 exactly hits, 317 career. Let's recap. What am I doing? I'm asking the question. How many players have 3,000 or more hits yet have a 300 or, or have a batting average under 300 career? How many? I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 players. Kyle Yerskrimski, Albert Pujols, Eddie Murray, Cal, Cal Ripken, Adrian Beltre, Robin Yao, Alex Rodriguez, Dave Winfield, Craig Biggio, Ricky Henderson, Lou Brock, Rafael Palmero, and Al Kaline. And out of all those guys, the guy with the lowest Career batting average with over 3,000 hits. Cal Ripken's 276. And then you have Ricky Henderson at 279. A little interesting trivia there, right? All right, let's get back to Willie Stargell winning 1973. Career batting average, 282. So I told you my criteria for Hall of Fame. 1,500 or more runs scored, 3,000 hits, oh, no, 2,500 hits or more, 1,500 runs batted in, and 300 or more career batting average. Now, these other guys who have, that I just listed, that have 3,000 hits and below 300, see, they meet one of the criteria for me. They have over 3,000 hits. Willie Stargell meets the criteria. What did he do? 1,540 runs batted in. That's one of the criteria. So I'm going to put him in the Hall of Fame. And 475 homers, that's pretty good. I would like to have seen 500 career homers. I think we're done with Willie Stargell, 1973. Next video, 1974. Thanks for watching. Respectfully, I'm out.